The Colonial Theater in Laconia, New Hampshire, first opened its doors in 1914. The neoclassical structure by local architect George L. Griffin was a significant addition to Laconia's Main Street. The theater complex was developed by Benjamin Piscopo, a Boston real estate developer who immigrated to the U.S. from Venice, Italy. An ornately painted fire curtain depicting Venice featured prominently in the original theater. While the theater initially hosted a mixture of vaudeville performances, traveling shows, and moving pictures, movies eventually became the main draw. In 1983, the Colonial was divided into four separate theaters, and in 1985, the stage became the fifth cinema. The theater closed in 2002 and slowly fell into disrepair. In 2015, under the leadership of Mayor Edward Angler, the city of Laconia partnered with the Belknap Economic Development Council to begin a restoration project for the Colonial. The demolition project was undertaken in 2016 to remove the cinema partitions and restore the theater's original volume. Many of the original painted plaster and decorative elements were discovered to be intact, although deteriorating. Remarkably, the original fire curtain was found in place with its striking hand-painted Venetian tableau. Brass railings and other fixtures were found tucked away in storage. By 2019, the meticulous research and design work was completed and construction began. The interior of the theater was restored to resemble the theater's 1930s heyday as accurately as possible, while updating the theater to modern-day standards. After a brief pause in 2020, construction continued carefully throughout the COVID pandemic. The marquee, originally installed in 1930, was restored and a ribbon-cutting ceremony for the reopening of the Colonial was held in August of 2021. The result is a striking new 750-seat home for the performing arts in the heart of Laconia. Over 90,000 tickets have been sold over the past two and a half years, with 15% of the sales going to community theater productions and events. Bravo, Laconia!